Hunt groups with spark call. So if you've been following my last two videos, we've so far got phones registered to Spark and we set up a auto attendant. Um, in the third video here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up a hunk group. And this way, when people come into our main menu, they're going to go ahead and press one of those menu options and I'm going to roll that over into a hunk group. So to get started with that, I need to select a couple users that are, that are going to be in my hunk group. I've already got two that I've kind of earmarked for that. I've got Johnny Serial and his cousin Tony Loops, short for Tony Fruit Loops. So we're going to go in here, and the first thing I'm going to do is I want to configure a secondary line, and that line is going to be the part of their hunk group that they're in. So I've already set up Tony. I'm just going to go in here and show you guys how to create a secondary line for a user. And it's right under the call here. And then I'm going to go up to the top and select lines. And I'm going to say add new line. Now for Johnny's secondary line or for all my users in a hunk group, we're going to go into the 6,000 range of extensions here. So we're going to pick, let's say, 6,003 for these guys. So that way we know that 4,000 is my primary line, 6,000 is my hunk group line. And that way, you know, in the future for things like reporting, it's a little bit easier to decipher uh, what's what. So we're going to go ahead and save. And you can take a look at the two phones I have set up here. Um, you can kind of see that the secondary line and Tony's already set. Now the phone for Johnny Serial here is actually just going to flash real quick. And now I have the two lines there for, for Johnny Serial as well. So I've got 4014 as his primary line, and I have 6003 as his secondary line. So my lines are all set up and ready to go. Now I'm going to go in and actually configure my hunk group here. So on the left side, we're going to go to Services. We're going to click on Features. And we're going to do New here. And this is, again, where I'm going to select what feature I want to set up. We previously went over Auto Attendant. Now we're going to go over hunk group and I'm going to click to add this and now you can name the hunk group. So you can put in here whatever name you want. I'm going to say Arnold Serial Hunk Group. We'll call it ACHG. And now this is basically your hunt pilot number as we would call it in communication manager terms. But this is basically the number that when it's called kicks off the hunk, the hunk group. So we're going to put in here... Let's try something in the 4,000 range. And we'll do 4,400. And then here's my different options. And this is kind of a, a wizard that it's going to take you through. Um, you know, it, it's okay. I like kind of setting this up quickly and then going back in and modifying things. I think it's a little bit easier when everything's just kind of laid out for you. But just to get it up and running real quick, you know, a couple different options you could pick here. I'll do the broadcast. So what the broadcast is going to do is when a call comes in, it's going to ring all the phones that are members of that hunk group. So we'll select that one. We'll go over here. And now it's asking, okay, who are my hunk group members? Well, I'm going to have two in here. I'm going to have Johnny Serial. And I want the 6000 extension for Johnny Serial. And then I've also got Tony loops here and again we're going to select his 6000 extension and now I've got both of these members in my hunk group and then hey if there's a fallback like let's say um, we're ringing this hunk group ringing 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 and both you both people are on the phone or maybe no one's available what do I do with this call I have the option of sending it to kind of its final destination it could be a voicemail box it could be an external number I could have it call someone's cell phone if I wanted to uh, internal number, somebody else, call back to the operator, whatever you want to do. We'll call out to Mr. T and we'll put him in here. And there's where you would send it to, you know, if I want to send this directly to Mr. T's voicemail box, that's, that's how I would do that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create this hunk group. <clears throat> and like I was saying before, that was the wizard, but to get back into it, we could click on the little pencil here on that hunk group and now it gives us a real nice and easy layout to kind of look at here so I can take a look and see um, any of these options that I want to change here 
So I could change it from broadcast to lying as idle, circular, top down, whatever way I want to hunt through that, that hunt group there. And right now we've got two members. I can click the drop down box here if I wanted to. I could start adding in other users on here as well. Um, and then here's some of the timer settings that we can mess around with. So member uh, ring timer. So each member is going to ring, will ring their phone 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and increase that. I'm going to put in here 20 seconds just to make it uh, ring a little bit longer. And then you've got your max wait time. So let's say I've got, I don't know, 10 phones in this group and each one ringing 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. After two minutes of continuously ringing, that's when we go into this max wait time because the person sitting on the other end listening to ringing for two minutes. What do I do with it? We'll send it off to Mr. T here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save it. And if you take a look at the phones over here, you notice now, and I'll zoom in so you guys can get a close-up of this. Okay, so you can see I've created here the two lines. So I've got the primary line, the secondary line, and then this hunk group line actually just appeared too once I configured the hunk group and added him to the hunk group here. And by pressing this button, I can log in and I can log out of my hunk group. So right now I'm logged in. That's why the, the button is lit up. By pressing it, you'll see the, the number there, or you'll see the notice that pops up. You've logged out of the hunk group. Now I'm not in it anymore. And then, but to get back in, pretty simple. You press it, and you're back into the hunk group. Um, one more step before I start throwing calls in here. I said that I wanted to build off the auto attendant that we previously created. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to go back into Arnold's breakfast hotline. And when they when somebody presses 2 because they want to talk to somebody about cereal, they want to speak to a cereal expert, I'm going to have the number 2 option route to a hunk group. And that hunk group is going to be the Arnold cereal hunk group. So we're going to save that. And now everything should be all set. Let me zoom back out. And we'll place a call in here. We could see both phones ringing, and we could we could take a look at what it looks like when I answer a phone. Okay, now that I've zoomed out, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place a call in here, and we're going to call the main number, just like someone would be calling in off the street. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to press 2, and that's going to throw us into the serial hunk group, and we'll see both these telephones ring in a second here. So let's place that call in. Good morning. Welcome to Arnold's Breakfast Hotline. Press 1 if you want to talk with an expert about eggs. Press 2 if you want to talk with an expert about cereal. Press 3. And we can see we have a call coming in here. The other cool thing to notice here, hope you guys can see this, it says call for ACHG. Let's go ahead and answer that and put it on mute. But the really cool thing that you can actually see at the bottom there that it, that it came in from the hunk group ACHG because you might have different entities as part of your business. A lot of times I see people like travel agents, they might have multiple numbers that come into the organization and they might represent a couple different entities like um, traveling to Alaska or traveling to Hawaii. So if you know the number that it came in from and we can display that on the phone, you can now answer the phone maybe a little bit differently. You could say, Aloha when they call the number for Hawaii and what you could say whatever you want for for the Alaska number when it comes in So it's really nice. That it gives you that little feature there on the side um, And really that's it. I mean we're in here. I had both these phones ring I picked it up and now we're part of it if I had another phone and I called in um, Because this guy's already on the phone then that one would be ringing and then again if after two minutes of no one picking up we have this phone ringing out and it would it would go to uh, Mr. T's phone at that point. So that's it for the hunk groups. And please, guys, if you have any suggestions or want to know any more information, just please post in the comments and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot.